a spirit of celebration to send off 2022. An estimated 40,000 people gathered on the Hobart waterfront met with an impressive backdrop. Oh, it's New Year's, it's awesome. I haven't been down here over New Year's. I often go across the road or you know up the street or whatever, but nah, good to be here, good to hang out and heaps of people, so it's really chill. For taste of summer organisers, it was smooth sailing. It was crowded out the front for Daryl. He put on an amazing show and the atmosphere was just electric. It was wonderful. Up north, Beerfest also proving a popular location. Lots more people than last year, so we're back to pre-COVID numbers, so we're looking at uh, close to 10,000 people, and I think it's just got something for everyone. Australia's biggest event attracted more than a million people. Happy New Year! Back in Tasmania, and there was a less frenetic feel for New Year's Day. While for many, New Year's Eve was a large celebration, here at Clifton Beach, others are opting for a more gentle start to 2023, or at least a more gentle recovery. Especially when the weather's good, we do find a lot of people come down here, some people starting their fitness regimes, other people, yeah, just trying to recover from the night before. It's been a big year, I'm sure lots of people would say that, so yeah, it's just lovely to get out of the house and do something to... Yeah, feel good, really. I can't think of a better way to start the year. The icy water, no barrier for the New Year swimmers. It's freezing, it's very <laughs> cold. Uh, everybody who goes in is bloody crazy, but it's worth it. You just gotta get in. Bad. You just gotta get in. <laughs> a warm welcome to 2023. Meg Whitfield, ABC News.